Okay, let's have some fun and have you get your algebra IQ score in the topic of equations. And this would be appropriate for uh, anyone studying, I would say, Algebra 1, uh, 2, Algebra 2. Uh, there is one question that's a little bit more advanced than Algebra 1, but even if you're in pre-algebra or any other type of algebra course, you might want to kind of uh, play around with these questions. There's going to be four questions, and um, it shouldn't take you no more than, say, Oh boy, five minutes at the most. Of course, I'm going to cover each question, and I'm not going to go into detail and teach you everything in these particular uh, questions. It's just a kind of a fun way to kind of test your current um, knowledge in equations. But uh, this is by f uh, no means a uh, complete analysis of your current skills and aptitudes, even if you don't do well here. But, you know, let's have fun. And, uh, you know, I try to make a catchy title here, Algebra IQ Score. Well, you know, everyone probably is kind of drawn in by that. Wow, I'm going to get my IQ score. Well, listen, the bottom line is even if you don't do well on this little uh, quiz, you can always improve. And that's the main idea. And I'm going to get to these uh, uh, questions here in just one second, and then we'll go over what your score may mean. And if this video does pretty well, I think I'll do uh, more of these videos on other um, algebra topics. All right, so before we get going though, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by uh, following the link in the description of this video. But basically I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, uh, Algebra 2. Um, finish up my uh, pre-calculus course right now. I'm pretty excited about that. But I also um, do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for uh, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACE or CLEP, uh, Alex exam, maybe a teacher certification exam or nursing school entrance exam, you can see there's a ton of exams that people have to take. And all those exams I mentioned have a lot of mathematics on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well in the exam. So if you are taking one of those exams, um, check out um, my full course catalog. I can definitely help you out to prepare uh, for these exams. So just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. If I do not have what you are looking for, uh, drop me a line in my contact form, and I will help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with independent learners uh, like homeschoolers. I've been working with uh, homeschoolers for 15-plus years. Uh, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then, obviously, I help those of you that are struggling in your current math courses. So the one thing I cannot do for you that you must do for yourself, that is take great math notes. Okay, if you're really serious about uh, learning mathematics. You just got to take outstanding notes. So over decades of teaching mathematics, it's apparent to me that those students who do uh, have great, great notes, I'm talking about excellent notes, almost always do very, very well in terms of their grades. And the reverse is true. Those students were like me way back in the good old 1980s. Uh, it was an awesome decade. Even though we didn't have the internet, we still made it through. We still had a lot of fun. And uh, when I was in school, sometimes I had too much fun uh, and I wasn't paying attention. But guess what? That's why I got gr grades like C minuses in my algebra courses and math courses, because I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't doing my part. I certainly wasn't taking notes. So if you really want to do well uh, in math, you have to take notes because this is um, kind of the one activity, the only activity I know of that will keep you highly focused. And focus is the key to success in anything. But as you're improving in your note-taking, I have uh, detailed comprehensive math notes to include uh, pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry that you can use to study. You can find the links uh, to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so this Algebra IQ score, I'm going to give you four questions. Give yourself, I don't know, five minutes. Uh, some of you uh, might need a little bit longer. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, don't let this, uh, you know, like, be too serious of a of a quiz okay this is by no means a an absolute aptitude test this we're just having fun here okay so here is the questions I'll read them to you and then we'll go over them so you can get your kind of grade so the first one is how many solutions does this thing have okay uh, the second question is 3x squared is equal to 12 I'd like you to solve for x uh, number three, I got negative two-fifths. X is equal to three-halves. I'd like you to solve for X. 
here. In fact, I'll just put that in here. Solve for x. And the number four, I want you to write down how many types, types, type, types. Let's put it in there. I'm just kind of uh, correcting this as I go. So <laughs> my English uh, IQ score probably wouldn't be too good. But anyways, how many types of algebra equations can you name? Okay, so that's an interesting question. So just write down as many types of algebra equations uh, that you think you uh, have studied or can remember. Okay, so the more you can write in this uh, particular question, the better, you know, point-wise uh, you will uh, have. Okay, so if you want to pause the video and give this a whirl, again, you know, give yourself, I don't know, like five minutes, and then I will go over this. Okay, so I'm about ready to go over this. So if you um, don't want to hear the solutions, you're still working on it, um, you know, go and pause the video. But obviously, if you're ready for um, the solutions, let's get into it now. Okay, so our first question, and what we'll kind of do is give ourselves a point um, for each one of these here, okay, in terms of you're either going to get a right or wrong. Really no partial credit with the exception of this uh, last uh uh, question, but we'll get to that in a second. All right, so how many solutions does this uh, thing have? Well, it has five solutions. It has five solutions, and if you got that right, that's excellent. This is uh, probably the one advanced um, uh, question, like at an algebra two level. And uh, what we need to recognize is this thing here is a polynomial, and the highest degree, the highest power of the polynomial is five. So there is a theorem in algebra that basically states the highest degree of the polynomial. If you, if you have a polynomial, its highest degree is how many solutions you will have. Now, uh, those could be real and or complex, okay? But that's a whole nother conversation. And um, uh, this would, again, be at more like the college algebra, algebra two level. Typically not taught too much in the algebra one level. But uh, anyways, uh, I do, I do want to mention I have tons of videos on all these topics in my uh, YouTube playlist. And of course, if you really, really want to master this stuff, you know, like especially this level of mathematics, you might want to check out my um, algebra two course or my college algebra course. But anyways, the uh, answer is five. OK, so five solutions. That is the answer. All right. So let's move on uh, to our next question. Number two. 3x squared is equal to 12. Let's solve for x. So let's do this right here. 3x squared is equal to 12. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. I'm going to get x squared is equal to 4. Now I need to take the square root of both sides to get x. So x is equal to 2, right? Well, if you put 2 and only 2, well, unfortunately, I cannot give you credit for this answer. And you're my saying, wait, what are you talking about? Most of you are probably saying like this. What are you talking about? You're not going to give me credit for that? No, no, I'm not. Okay, this is kind of like a, a pass or fail. The answer is x is equal to 2 and negative 2. Okay, there are two solutions. If you only give me 50% of the answer, how can I give you full credit, right? If you notice that this thing here, this is a quadratic equation. If we kind of learn from uh, this first, uh, let's put this back up here. Um, problem, that this is a polynomial, its highest degree is 5, it has 5 solutions. Well, this is the same thing. A quadratic, is a, a quadratic equation is a polynomial of degree 2, it has 2 solutions. So it's a very common mistake. Uh, by the way, if you did get down to the, if you did do this step right here, and you said x is equal to 2, that's pretty good. All right? I'm not trying to make you feel too bad, okay? But uh, the correct answer is, when anytime you take the square root of a real number, okay, you're going to have two roots. It's always going to be positive and negative 2 because 2 times 2, uh, positive 2 times positive 2 is a positive 4, and negative 2 times a negative 2 is also a positive 4. So you can't forget that little guy right there. And um, uh, that's a typical kind of question that a lot of students uh, mess up because they're not paying attention, they're not taking notes, they're talking to their friends, they're on their cell phone, and then when the teacher gives this nice little easy problem, uh, they don't do well, okay? So hopefully you'll remember that, and that's the whole idea here. So this is uh, quadratic equations would be the topic, and uh, taking a square root uh, of real numbers. Okay, so let's move on to our third little problem here. Hopefully you're doing pretty well, but uh, we'll see, okay? now. Uh, let's go ahead and write it right here so we can solve. So we have two-fifths 
x is equal to three halves. I want to solve for x. As a matter of fact, let me just erase this here. So what can I do? Well, hopefully you know that I can go ahead and uh, multiply each side by the reciprocal of this thing. So it's going to be negative five uh, halves. Okay, both sides are negative five halves. Now again, I'm not going to go into why this all is. That's something that you want to follow through on my pre-algebra or an algebra playlist on my YouTube channel or certainly in my uh, pre-algebra or, or and or algebra course. But uh, now that we multiply across, this is going to be equal to 1. Okay, and if you don't know why, you need to review how to multiply fractions. And then here, I'm going to have what? Well, this would be a negative 15 over 4. Okay, negative 15 over 4. So that is the answer. Okay, so this is three questions. And if you got all three of these uh, right so far, uh, that's uh, pretty good. Okay, all right. Now, let's move on to our last question. How many types of algebra uh, equations can you name? Well, I'm going to start listing these down. Now, some of you, in your defense, may have not studied these. But if you can get at least, mm, I'd say, a minimum of two, maybe three, uh, then you're kind of on the right track. But let's start uh, naming some. All right, so the one, first one is linear equations, okay? Things like this, 2x minus uh, 8 equals 10. That's all a linear equation. Uh, how about something like this? 4x squared is equal to 16. We just went over a problem like this. This is a quadratic equation, okay? We also have systems of equations. That's these things. They look like this. Uh, like x plus y is equal to 7, and x minus uh, 2y is equal to 1, okay? So again, this is stuff that you would study in Algebra 1, but that's a system of equations. So you can see we study a lot of different types of equations in Algebra. Let's uh, continue on. There's many more. Uh, we have rational equations. Uh, we have radical equations. Well, rational equations are those with fractions in them. So something like this, 3 over x plus 4 over x plus 1 is equal to 10. Something like that would be an example of a rational equation. A radical equation would ha obviously have some sort of radical or square root, like something like this, 2x plus 1 is equal to 7. That's a radical, e radical equation. And then we get into... Uh, uh, more advanced mathematics, we can have exponential equations, something like this, okay? So we have exponential equations. Uh, let's write some more down here. We have logarithmic equations and many others. But if you uh, at least gave, uh, I would say, um, we're able to, to provide three, okay? If you were able to give me like three, hopefully those would be like linear, or quadratic, or rational um, even if you're in Algebra 1, you're studying these type, give yourself full credit. If you only were able to name one, okay, well, that's not enough. You need at least two in my book to get full uh, um, credit for that question. Again, we're just having fun. All right, let's go ahead and see what uh, your scores mean. Okay, so either you got zero, a one, two, or three, or four, right? Okay, how do we interpret our score to get our algebra IQ, uh, IQ score. Well, again, we're just having fun, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. So if you got a zero, if you didn't get anything right, well, you need to watch more of my videos with a little happy face, right? Uh, so I have a ton of this stuff on my YouTube channel, pre-algebra, algebra one. Of course, if you're really serious about wanting to learn algebra, you then you definitely need to go and check out like my algebra one course or my pre-algebra course, depending on uh, your current level of mathematics, but that's going to be a super comprehensive course. You will ace these quizzes by going through my courses, but I have a ton of information uh, on my channel. All right, let's say you got one right. If that's your situation, well, at least you know some algebra, right? Let's not be let's not be too negative here. Matter of fact, let's not be negative at all. What happens? Uh, let's see here. For those of you that uh, got two, <clears throat> excuse me, two out of four, well, okay, that's average, but you can do better. Right, that's not bad. Uh, it's not great, but you know that's you know you're showing that you know some algebra. What if you got three? Well, that's pretty good. Okay, matter of fact, so good that I would definitely give you a happy face. All right, uh, on your uh, quiz. Right? But uh, you know, the happy face. We could do better than a happy face because if you got all four right, well then wow. Right, I'm going to give you a happy face 
with a Mohawk, an A plus in 100%. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyways, uh, you got to make math fun. If you don't make math fun, uh, then, you know, and it doesn't have to be fun. Let's listen. You have to tell yourself it's fun. Oftentimes, you know, it's not going to be fun. There is a lot of work and effort. You got to put into it. And sometimes it's going to feel like you're getting kind of beat up and whatnot. But that's just the process of learning. OK, but uh, hopefully this little video was, you know, kind of drew you in to try these questions. And uh, I'm going to make more of these videos in advance. So if you want to kind of keep testing your skills with these little pop quizzes, then uh, please consider subscribing me. So subscribing to my channel, excuse me. Um, so the next time I make a video like this, you know what's going on. But if you like this video uh, for this particular um, uh, topic, equations, please consider smashing that like button. And uh, again, uh, I have tons of information on my channel, okay, basic to advanced mathematics. So you can go back and review any one of these particular questions that you want, you know, want to know more about, okay? But if you really, really are serious about learning mathematics, um, especially algebra, then you definitely want to check out my math help program. But the bottom line is this, you can definitely improve no matter where you're at. And this little quiz is not all inclusive. I mean, if you aced it and you got four out of four, that's excellent. But of course, you know, I could put different questions on and I will, because I will be doing more of these uh, videos in the future because I think they're kind of fun and are, um, you know, at least I, I think they're fun. Hopefully you think they're fun. If you don't think they're fun, well, mm, you know, what could I do? You know, at least I'm putting myself out there and trying to make math. My passion is trying to make math clear and understandable because nobody should be failing math. Like for me, getting the C minus back in the 1980s, guess what? I wasn't doing my part. I certainly wasn't taking notes. I wasn't paying attention to the teacher. But if you do your part, uh, believe me, I, uh, I'm telling you, there's just nobody out there. Um, I uh, have come across through decades of teaching math that truly, truly can't do reasonably well in mathematics if you're doing your part, okay? All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.